In this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure the NoScript extension for Firefox. NoScript is an extension that blocks executable content on websites including Flash, Java, JavaScript, and Silverlight. It also can block ads and potentially block pop-ups. So let's open Firefox, Google NoScript, Go to the NoScript page at mozilla.org and click Add to Firefox. Click Install Now and you'll need to restart Firefox for NoScript to install. Okay, so you get a, the window that says a new add-on has been installed and you see this white circle with a blue S down here. That is your NoScript icon. When it looks like this, it means all scripts are allowed on this page. Okay, I've loaded up a few sites just to show you how NoScript changes the behavior of certain sites. Uh, on YouTube, if you're blocking all your scripts, then you get a message that says that you have JavaScript turned off or you're using an old version of Adobe's Flash Player. So go down to your NoScript icon and you'll need to allow youtube.com and ytimg.com so we allow youtube and ytimg.com and it automatically re refreshes the page and the video plays um, something convenient about NoScript is it keeps videos from automatically playing on you know sites you've never been to so you won't if you have your speakers turned up you won't get blasted in the ears with that which is really convenient for MySpace pages. Now another way that NoScript can affect pages is affecting navigation. If navigation if sites use JavaScript for their menus then see I'm clicking and it's not doing anything so we gotta enable MySpace for in NoScript. and you'll also need to enable the MySpace content delivery network and now when we click the videos they work as expected now for one more site this site shows you how many scripts you know some pages are actually running so this is at pcmag.com you have pcmag DoubleClick.net, which is an ad server. QuantServe is an ad server. Google Syndication is an ad server. So you don't have to run all those. You don't even really have to run PCMag. Since their links work with JavaScript disabled. So it's just a little bit on how NoScript works. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can check out the links on the YouTube page or check out gaslampcomputers.com.